Hey there, NCAPers. In today's episode of NCAP TV, I want to talk to you about pH. What role does pH play? How does it impact your cleaning? And what do you need to know? Stay tuned to find out more. In this episode of NCAP TV, I want to talk to you about the pH scale and how it affects cleaning. The pH scale runs from 0 to 14. 7, right in the middle, is neutral. 0 is as acidic as it can get. And 14 is as alkaline as it can get. This scale is an interesting scale. It's actually a logarithmic scale. What does that mean? That means that every time we move up or down, we multiply by the number that we just had. And it goes by 10. So when we go from 7 to 8, we're going to multiply times 10. 8 is 10 times more alkaline than 7. But wait, when we go to 9, it's 10 times 10 again. That's 100. When we go to 10, it's 1,000. Conversely, it works in reverse on the acid side. When we go from 7 to 6, it's 10. 6 to 5 is 100. 5 to 4, 1,000. You can see how those numbers actually quickly change the dynamics of the cleaning. Because you might just think, well, it's just one or two numbers up or down. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. It's not just one number. It's times 10, times 10, times 10. So it really plays an impact on what we're doing with carpet. Alkalinity helps us with cleaning. It's one of the components of the cleaning package. Now, it's not the only component. There's a lot that goes into making a detergent work well. But when we think about the alkalinity, it can also work against us. If we're working with a product and we're leaving the carpet on an alkaline side, we've really left it alkaline, it's going to track soil like crazy. We can also damage the carpet in the sense that we can strip color from the carpet in some situations, you're going to strip color. You might also remove the soil-resistant properties of the carpet. And as I mentioned, it's going to naturally make the carpet want to attract more soil. So again, stay away from going to alkaline. Now, there are some situations where you're going to want to use some alkalinity. Keep in mind that carpet soil is mildly acidic. So working with some alkalinity can help us. Normally, our cleaning is in the range of around 8 to 9. Nine's kind of like the sweet spot because it goes after that acidic nature of the carpet soil. But let's say you have something really soiled, you're dealing with a commercial carpet and it's really trash. Let's say it's a really greasy restaurant or a carpet that's been abused. Would you ever consider using something extremely alkaline? Sure, but you've got to remember to go after it with an acid cleaner afterwards to neutralize it. For example, you might consider working with Firestorm. Firestorm has a pH of 13. A lot of the cleaners that we work with here, the commercial cleaners that we sell to here at Excellent Supply, love Firestorm. It is an amazing product. But with a pH of 13, you can quickly see where you're going to get yourself into trouble. But when you come after it with a product, for example, like NCAP Hydrox, which has a pH of 3.5 to 4, you take 4 against 13 and you're going to land it right around 9. Hey, we're back to our sweet spot again. So always follow an alkaline product with an acid side cleaner as your final step to bring the carpet back to a more neutral condition. So we talked about that sweet spot right around 9. That's where NCAP Clean DS2 comes in. In fact, several of our products here that we sell in the release at line are right in that range. Why? Well, keep in mind, soil is mildly acidic and working with a pH in the 9 range works really, really well. Again, it's not just the pH, it's all the other components that goes into this package that makes it work extremely well. The great crystallizing polymer that holds the soil in suspension so it can be vacuumed out of the carpet afterwards. The fact that it leaves the carpet very soil resistant, that's part of all of the stuff that makes release it work so well. But from a pH standpoint, this is right at the range that we want to be at for cleaning safely and effectively. I'll put the um, scale, the pH scale, the little chart, PDF in the description below. I think you'll find it helpful. Hopefully this little overview of the pH scale and how it affects cleaning will help you in your business. It's just one more way we want to help you max your end cap here at Excellent Supply. Thank you for watching this episode. Share your comments below please. Hit us with your comments, your questions. Give us a thumbs up if you like the video and please subscribe to our channel. Until next time, thanks for watching NCAP TV.